Good day everyone, this is Aldem Aldave from Central Bicu State University of Agriculture, Sipot Campus, and may I present to you our research study which entitled, My Seal Got Performance of Addison Mushroom or the Vulbar Yellow Bulbasha in Bananois Media. My co-authors are Maria Cheneberry, Elizabeth Cabrera, Tom Rodriguez, Kenneth Nila Burgos, Christine Besmonte, and Mr. Arce Villere. But before we proceed with my discussion, let us start with a question first, and that question is why? Why are we doing this research? What is the main purpose of conducting this research study? And to answer that question, may I begin with mushroom cultivation. You know, mushroom cultivation is a very reliable and profitable option in elevating hunger and malnutrition in the world. Various regions in the world cultivating mushroom, which use it as a source of food, which is high in vitamins and minerals with various medicinal properties and use it as source of income. But since mushroom is a saprophyte that degrades organic compounds, it helps in cleaning the environment. And to be more precise, this study utilized paddies from mushroom or the Vulbariella vulvasa, which ranked third among all cultivated mushroom in the world, according to Taribu Manamala et al. 2012. But there is a problem regarding with mushroom cultivation. Because mushroom cultivation all starts with culture media, and culture media is a solidified nutrients that support the growth of microorganisms, particularly fungi, inside the petri plates and basically we use the potato decorous agar which is available in the market but found to be expensive by the local farmers and this holds them into engaging into mushroom cultivation that is why this study aimed to suggest or to create an alternative culture media for mushroom production which is found to be in abundance and availability in the country the philippines and we come up with the banana plant particularly the saba banana and there's a large production of saba banana in the Philippines. In fact, it accounts 39% of the total banana production. And the annual yield of saba banana in the Philippines is 9.4 tons per hectare. And it contains high level of nutrients and used as a source of income by many Filipino citizens. The large production of saba banana in the Philippines also generates large production of agricultural waste. Because we all know that after harvesting the banana fruit, the other parts of banana was considered as waste. And while viewed as waste, the study converts this waste into a culture media for mushroom production. So how did we come up with the experimentation? First, we gathered 500 grams and 1,000 grams of banana peeling, banana leaves, and banana shudu stem for the 50% and 100% concentration of the culture media. The coconut water was serves as the control media in this research study. And then the banana parts was, con was decocted in one liter of tap water. Then the decoction was boiled up, up to one liter and was added with 10 grams of table sugar as additional source of nutrients and 20 grams of gulaman bar as the solidifying agent of the cultured media. But the coconut water was directly added with gulaman bar since according to Satoset al 1999, it already contains 92% of sucrose, which means it contains high level of sugar. And after that, prior to esterilization, the pH level was adjusted to pH 8 since according to Reset al 1998, the favorable pH level for mycelial production of Volvariel Volbasha is 8. And then it was sterilized using an autoclave for 20 minutes at 121 degrees Celsius at 15 PSI. The newly sterilized culture media was dispensed in sterilized petri plates and allowed to solidify. After that, using a sterile cork borer, a 70-old 10mm micelle black alvor variable vasa was inoculated in the culture media and was stored under dark conditions since according to Reset al 1998 and Saho 2014, Bulbariel Bulbasha grows well under dark conditions. After collecting and analyzing the data, this is the result of under After collecting and analyzing the data, this is the result of our study. Under After collecting and analyzing the data, this is the result of our study. The culture media was observed under the average temperature of 28.6 degrees Celsius and average relative humidity of 74.8%. In the figure, we can see the mycelial growth increment of Bulbariel bulbasha in banana waste media in 50% concentration. And based on the figure, we can see that the Bulbariel bulbasha has shown the highest mycelial growth increment in banana leaves media from day 1 to day 3. 
And the plus sign represents the thickness of the mycelia of Pulverial Balbasia in the culture media. And we can see that there is a thickest mycelia in banana peeling of Bulbariella bulbasha. And for the 100% concentration, among other banana... And for the 100% concentration, among other banana waste media, again, the banana leaves has performed... <laughs> and for the 100% concentration, among all banana waste media, the Bulbariella bulbasha again performed the highest mycelial growth increment in the banana leaves and thickest in the banana peeling. Okay, next is the number of incubation period of Bulbariella bulbasha in banana waste media in 50% concentration. So it shows the number of days before the Bulbariella bulbasha fully ramified the culture media. And based from the figure, we can see that the Bulbariella bulbasha has shown the shortest period of incubation in banana leaves, which only took three days before it fully ramified the culture media. But in banana peeling and banana shoot stem, it took five days before it fully ramified the culture media. And for the 100% concentration, among other banana waste media, the Bulbariella bulbasha has shown the shortest period of incubation in banana leaves also within four days only. But it has the highest number of incubation period in banana shoot stem, which took 11 days before it fully ramified the culture media. Accounting all of this, the study has concluded that the banana parts, which considered as waste, can be utilized as a cultural media for mushroom production. And among banana waste media, the banana leaves in 50% concentration was considered as the ideal cultural media for palace or mushroom production since it will hasten the mushroom cultivation and will increase the mushroom production. And the study strongly recommends to produce a saba banana agar, which will provide a cheaper cultural media for local Filipino farmers compared to the potato dextrose agar, which is already available in the market. So that would be all.